Yo, what's happening? My name is Destroying Sanity, but you, you already knew that. So, let's talk about this. Let's talk about the PlayStation 3 problems. We're going to try to go through all the problems real quick. And after I'm done with the problems, I'll be doing some searches, looking around the PlayStation Store, helping people out somewhat. I don't know if I can, just confirming things. Like, do they still sell PlayStation 2 games? Do they still sell PlayStation 1 games? Well, let's begin with the main thing. All right, so you're probably saying, hey, how did, how did he get into the store? I can't even get to it. I get this uh, under maintenance. Well, let's show you what happens while you're getting that error. It's going to load up. Man, it's going to be great. Man, it's going to be awesome. And then this screen shows up. Press everything, nothing comes out. And you're like, what the heck? Why is my service currently under maintenance? And I want to be on the PlayStation store. Well, guess what? You're gonna have to reset that goddamn thing. All right, so what you do is you go over here, right? You go to your date and settings. As you can see, set automatic is not on. So you wanna turn that on and you want, as you can see, it says 2020, we're in 2021. So you wanna do it, set it by internet because you want it to be current. Because if it's not, if I think if it's off even one day, uh, I won't let you get on the PlayStation Store and it'll give you that specific uh, undergoing maintenance project or, you know, message or whatever you want to call it. As you can see, all you have to do is just have your time automatic on and have your internet set your time all the time and you'll be able to get on the PlayStation Store easily. Another thing people have been saying that it freezes their PlayStation. It crashes their PlayStation. Now, I will say... The PlayStation over time has froze and has crashed on me multiple times. Uh, literally while making this video, while making this video, the game <laughs> actually crashed on me. No joke. I'm not even kidding. The game, the freaking PlayStation Store crashed on me and I was just browsing. I wasn't doing anything crazy. And that's crazy, I know. All right, so we're going to go kind of confirm uh, the classics. There is a section here. I don't know why don't we have like a actual section for uh, like why don't we have like an actual section for PlayStation One and PlayStation Two games? You go to top classics. These are not all the PS One. These are not all the PS Two games. These are just the top classics. There's way more uh, games out there. As you can see, you got PlayStation 1 games. A person said that they're trying to buy, buy City. Vice City is right there, just to let you know. Uh, you got PlayStation 2 games. You got PlayStation 1 games. Um, you got all that stuff that's all that good stuff. It's still available to purchase. Let's see it. See, as you can see, you got Mega Man. I bought this game a while back, as you, as you can see. So it does work, 100% work. Um, another thing people have been asking is... Uh, certain games that pop up they find it but there's no there's no downloadable stuff all right we're gonna go look up resistance all right so we're gonna go over resistance 2 right now we're gonna go to resistance 2 um as you can see it just gives you an overview it does not tell you you could buy the game right there as you can see it says disc only this game is just for promotional reasons just to sell themes or giveaway themes i'm not sure if you have to buy these themes specifically and it shows videos of the EA trailers and stuff. That's the only reason why this page is even available. I'm not sure why they decided to do this, but there's a lot of games that do this. Uh, one thing I do got to say is that it's random. I don't know why, but it, it has been random for me. I want to go to Little Big Planet. Little Big Planet 1, since like last year in December, there was no add cart option. I'm not even joking with you. There was no add cart option. It was only try demo. The fact that this popped up, it blew my mind. Why did it blow my mind? Because it didn't make any sense. It really, for me, did not make any sense. Because this is a Sony IP. So I was surprised that this was not available. And now it is. I wanted to use this as a video example of games that are still on. But they don't show anything. They only try demo. But I don't know. It backfired on me. But we got little... Big Planet Kart Racing to give you guys an example that there is games like this. It obviously shows add-on, but these are the add-on games for like LBP like 2, 3, and the first one. So obviously right here, 
you can't do it. It's not available for purchase. Compared to the Resistance 2 that had an overview, this one just lets you know that there's no available for purpose because this was digital and this was physical. Also, I heard that the online is still available. It says right here to shut down, but I heard that uh, it's still available, but who knows? I'm just, I'm just tripping out about that. All right, and the last problem that people have been having is errors when they're trying to purchase a game. Now, we're gonna try to purchase a quick game real quick. Now, I don't plan to actually buy this game. I just wanna see the options that they're giving me. So, uh, let's just say Minecraft. Freak it, yeah, right? Let's add Minecraft into the carts. Oh! I made that noise because it's freaking it takes forever to do anything on PlayStation, even before I proceed to check out. Okay. Now, uh, hopefully I don't buy this because I'll be, uh, I'll be just very disappointed. All right. So we're going to be talking about purchasing. Now, as you can see, I got Minecraft in my cart. Now, if I proceed to check out, it's going to let me confirm purchase, but I'm not going to purchase this because I don't want Minecraft on PlayStation 3. Um, Keep in mind that uh, I have money in my wallet. How did I do this? I uh, bought a PlayStation PlayStation card, a gift card, whatever you want to call it. I got my phone. I used the PlayStation app, and I redeemed it through the PlayStation app. You could redeem it on the PS3 if you decide to. It's up to you. I just like doing it really fast on my phone because I purchased the PlayStation card on my phone, and I redeem it right away on my app. It takes like less than two minutes. Now, a lot of people are having problems, problems. And a lot of people in the comment section have finally said that they're pretty much, uh, they've been able to uh, finally purchase stuff after using PlayStation cards. Do not use, uh, don't use freaking credit cards, debit cards. They're giving people errors. I'm not sure if they got PayPal on PS3. I don't know. I don't know if they got PayPal on PS3, I know PS4 has that option. I know some other countries have certain like uh, services to pay and stuff. Like I said, don't use those. Use the PlayStation cards. They seem to be the most accurate, the just way better working without errors. I can't recommend those other things because people have been getting problems and as soon as they switch to PlayStation card like I told them to, it's been working flawlessly. Remember, if it works great for everybody, it's gonna work for you. So. Stop purchasing through debit, credit, and uh, any services that they give you the option to. Just stick to PlayStation cards because that's the only method that's working. And personally, I like it the best. It's just, for me, it's the best. I like it. I still got money from last year. So, hey, and if I need more, I could always put some more. But that's not the case for this moment. We just want to talk about the pur purchasing aspect. So if you're having problems with that, stop with the debit and credit and go with the PlayStation cards. That's the best way. That's the best method. It's worked for everybody. I'm uh, gonna put a bunch of comments here to let people to see that people have made it work. So it's it's no secret. It's the truth. All right. So uh, yeah, pretty much uh, that's about it. I don't know what else to say. Um, I really don't know what else to say about that. Those are some of the common issues people are dealing with. Other than that, there is people complaining that they can't log in on the PlayStation Network. I've said it in my previous video. If you cannot, and I mean if you cannot log in your PlayStation Network, you probably had to check on your email. Uh, you must have to agree to some terms that they had a while back. I don't know what happened to one of my PlayStation accounts. I had to go back, and I mean back to the to my email and agree to them because I couldn't agree to them to the PlayStation. I'm not sure why, but I just had to do it that way. And if that doesn't work, uh, contact Sony Support. There's a reason why there's a Sony Support thing. Uh, and pretty much it'll help you out. They've helped me out throughout previous years on certain situations that I want to talk about. <laughs> uh, okay, I had to change my password on one of my accounts because I forgot it. But other than that, they do help a lot. So contact Sony Support uh, and they'll definitely help you out for sure. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out. And until then, I'll see you guys around. And thanks for watching. I'll be making more PS3 videos pretty soon. So, yeah, look into that. All right, I'm out.